Kevin Berry's next and make some noise for Kevin Berry. Here he is. You all right? So, my mother went out on a protest. Yeah, she's one of these baby boomers. Turns out that she's been told that she might have to work an extra two years before she gets her pension. Boo fucking who? <laughs> I'm 35. If I live to be 105, I might be looking forward to a couple of years before I get my fucking pension. <laughs> You know, but it's all well and good. Where's, oh, where's the money gone? Where's the money gone? What have the government done with the money? You spent it. You spent it, baby boomers. You kept living like we were still at the height of the British Empire without at any point noticing that at some point India had fucked off and stopped sending us a big check. <laughs> but, <clears throat> you know what? It, it'd be all right if she did any other kind of protesting, you know. Did she ever go out? Did she protest, you know... Uh, the poll tax, did she go out and protest when they shut the, uh, the pits or the docks? Did she go out and protest over the genocides in Rwanda and the Baltic states? Did she protest the Iraq war? No, she didn't protest any of that stuff. But after work an extra two years, get upstairs in the loft and get granddad's gun. <laughs> but, you know, it'd be all right. I'd have a little bit more sympathy if it wasn't for the fact that that generation is still currently rattling round in their four-bedroom homes that they paid 400 quid for and now are worth a cool half million. <laughs> oh, two more years of my invention. Two more years of work. What a fucking pisser. <laughs> you know, it's a family of four down the road have to pay three quarters of their income to live in a bloody bedsit because you're occupying all available space. But, um... Then they're kicking off, again, because they might have to give some of the value of their homes to pay for their care when they get old. Oh, well, that's a shame. Maybe care would be a little bit cheaper if more of my generation had actually trained as nurses or care assistants. But no, because we all had to go and get degrees, apparently. Go and get a degree, go and get a degree. All the, all the people who are in charge, all the bosses have got degrees. If you get a degree, you'll also be the boss. Here's the thing, having a degree is a bit like going and getting a baseball bat to try and win a fight. It doesn't fucking work if everybody's got one. <laughs> Guess who the bosses are now? It's all the people that blooming got kicked out of school at 16 and went and actually started working. Now they're in charge. All the people with degrees are sweeping up the floor. Well, it's true. Thank you. You know, as if that was a bloody good idea, like as if the Blooming Empire was founded on fucking media studies. You know, it was study of film that won us the war. The nuances of maison-sen really put it up the fucking Germans, didn't it? But you know what? It's all right, because uh, it doesn't matter that we haven't got enough nurses and stuff like that, and you know, we haven't got enough plumbers and carpenters and all that sort of thing, because we can just sort of employ them and bring them over from the um, continent. Oh, no, we can't, because you voted us out of the EU as well! <laughs> but no, it's, it's fine, you know, you can keep, keep protesting. He protests about, don't worry about all these other things, you know, the... Uh, the nurses and the doctors are protesting for more money for the NHS. The police are protesting to get more money for the justice system. Um, who else is protesting? We've got the teachers protesting for more money for education. But I tell you what, no. Instead of paying for all that stuff, we'll just let the old people knock off two years early, eh? As you can tell, a little bit bitter about it. <laughs> you know. Well done, baby boomers. You fucked us. Now we have to live with it. You know, but don't worry, you know, I, I, I do feel sorry for you that you haven't worked this extra time, you paid all the money in, you know, and now you feel like you don't, you're not getting out what you rightfully should have. But, you know, you can always think about it, you know, it could be worse. You know, you could be in the same situation as your fucking kids. <laughs> uh, but talking to kids, 
I got three of those. All girls, you know, they'll be benefiting from my pension because I won't be alive to receive it. <laughs> but uh, I'll tell you one thing about doing stand-up and stuff. Everybody uh, looks at me and they say, uh, are you not worried about embarrassing yourself, about getting booed off stage, anything like that? <laughs> I live in a house with four women. <laughs> I am fucking bulletproof. <laughs> Oh, but it is a, I am like a testosterone island in this <laughs> sea of estrogen, you know. I, the other day I was bleeding from my arsehole. I didn't know if I had hemorrhoids or if our periods had synchronized. <laughs> when I was a teenager, I used to spend all my time trying to get women to be around me and to stay around me. Now I've got three of the little parasites. I went, fuck off. <laughs> It's all right, though, because every now and again, you know, if my shower gel runs out, <laughs> and it's a special occasion, I get to wash my cock and balls in Tresemme. <laughs> I'm Kevin Berry. Thank you very much, everybody. <laughs>